come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barriers, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rhapsody. Our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rhapsody of reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities. When you're born from your mother, you were born of the corruptible seed. Mm. But now you're born of the incorruptible oh, seed. Hallelujah. The incorruptible seed, Glory which is the word God. of God that mm. liveth and abideth forever. Light up your month of September with the Messenger Angel. It's a colorful celebration of God's word from the Rainbow Nation of South Africa. This is Rhapsody of Realities, your number one daily devotional program, coming to you all the way from South Africa, the Rainbow Nation. Don't miss a single episode this month on your favorite devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. Whatever He tells you to do, do it. Lift up oh, your eyes right now. Give your attention to Jesus. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello, hello, and welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. My name is Deaconess Dorothy. And joining her closely is me, Deborah. You are indeed tuned into the world's favorite devotional show. Yes, and today is the last day that we will be sharing with you for the month of September. I'm Pastor Manelisa, and I wish we could go on and on and on. I mean, it's been <laughs> awesome. It's been uplifting. Yes. Oh, it's yes. been glorious as we share the Word of God. Mm. Oh, glory Amen. to God. Amen. And we really wish we could go on and, and on and on and, and on. It's been and so on. encouraging. And I have received so much Hallelujah. from it. I know exactly what you're talking about, Pastor Manelisa. This month, the word that has been shared in, in the September Rhapsody of Reality has changed my life. The oh, words yes. we've received that we've oh, even yes. been sharing on set have ministered to mm, me so okay. much. There's so many of them. They're just, I mean, every Rhapsody of Realities is a keeper. I always say this one's a keeper. And then every single month after that yes. is a keeper. But truly, the words in here are gems. They are treasures. Oh, and I've been transformed by the word. Lord, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. In today's devotional, Pastor Chris says to us an actual recreation of the human spirit. Hallelujah. Oh boy. And Pastor Chris has taken the theme scripture from the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter, from the 22nd verse to the 23rd verse, mm. and it reads, Put off concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt, according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Mm. Glory to God. My, my, Hallelujah. My. You know, as you read that scripture, another scripture came to mind. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says, If any man be oh, in Christ, hallelujah. he is a brand new mm. creature. Oh, all yes. things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Amen. All things have become new. Amen. Oh Amen. yes, oh yes. It's actually similar to what Pastor is saying here. Hallelujah. An actual recreation of the That's human spirit. Right. So oh, yes. you are actually recreated in your spirit. Hallelujah. I cannot wait to delve into this message, but I think we're going to go on a short break first and we will be right back. What's your favorite devotional for the week? Hmm. Yes. You have an opportunity to share it with the world. Log on to the Rhapsody of Realities group on UCourse. www.ucourse.com slash community slash Rhapsody of Realities. Post your comments and watch out for it on your favorite devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. Welcome back, dear viewers. Pastor Chris says to us today an actual recreation 
of the human spirit. Pastor here explains to us and says, real Christianity is not the inclusion or impartation of another nature, but an actual recreation Hallelujah. of the God. human spirit. Hallelujah. When you were born again, your spirit was actually recreated of God. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Those are statements you have to ponder and ponder That's and ponder right. on until it dawns on your That's spirit. Right. Hallelujah. Right. He says, the love with which you were born of your mother has been supplanted with a new life in mm. Christ Jesus. Mm. Divinity has supplanted humanity. Mm. Your human nature is not there anymore. Mm. You now have the mm. God life mm. in you. Hallelujah. The nature of mm. Christ mm. is in you. Mm. It's a recreated human spirit, not one that existed before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one has never existed right. before. The That's God life is we in must you. renew our minds yes. after the image of him who created us. We must renew our minds to this new nature oh, that yes. we have in Christ. Oh, yes. Like the Bible says, as we behold in a mirror the glory of the Lord, we Hallelujah. are transformed we from glory to glory. Mm. So that means as the mirror always speaks about God's word, that means as you look at God's word, as your mind is renewed to discover mm -hmm. who you are in Christ, what is this new creation? Who am I really in God's eyes? Because that's what really counts, not what mm -hmm. you think or feel. And as you ponder that, you are you begin to reveal that which you really are on the inside that's why you are transformed from glory to glory that means we go from glory to glory we mm. bring more than the, the the inner man that is renewed after god that is born again begins to express itself more and more and we begin to see more and more of the glory of god in our lives as our minds are renewed to the truth about who we really are in Christ Jesus because we are a new creation. The Bible says the old has passed oh, yes, away. You don't need come. to be dealing with the old anymore. No. It is finished. Oh, the Bible yes. says it has passed away. And if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. You are new. Mm -hmm. And you just decide, I am new. I refuse to think about oh, the way yes. I thought about myself oh. as the old oh, man, yes. as the sinful man who was in bondage to sin. No. The Bible says sin will not have dominion over, over you because you, you are now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this Hallelujah. new mind is renewed in the knowledge mm -hmm. of him, mm -hmm. of the image of him who created us. Hallelujah. So what Colossians says, so you, you have to have the knowledge of Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. As the word saturates your spirit, as the word comes into your spirits and into your hearts, oh. it eliminates. Hallelujah. It eliminates any other human mind or any mm. other human thoughts you mm. had before and replaces to, 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 for you to become a partaker of the That's heavenly right. calling. Hallelujah. You already are a partaker, but you have to have a consciousness, a consciousness whereby you will now be functioning mm. in that which you already are. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. That it's of who you already are. Oh. It's mm. the same as being a partaker of the divine nature. nature. Right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pastor says some Christians tend to be more body ruled or conscious of their mm. physical senses than they should be, not realizing that man is a spirit That's right. and not a physical body. Mm. Your spirit came alive to God when you Amen. were born again. Oh, I'm alive to mm. God. Oh, God. I'm dead to alive sin and I'm to alive God. to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You tell yourself that I'm alive to God. Glory to God. He says that, and it's exactly the same nature as your heavenly Father. Oh, yeah. Boy, that is mind-blowing, yes, but it is the truth and it, it is. is a fact. Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. have the, the same, same nature as your heavenly Father. And that's why he says, I have said ye mm. are gods. Yes. And you are children, and children of the Most High. Most High. If, you see, if I am born of mm. God, then I have the God kind of life working in me. Same. Then I have the God kind Hallelujah. of nature. Mm. And we're saying yeah. being born of God, mm. being born of His Spirit, mm. being born of His Word, mm. being born, not being born of the incorruptible seed. When you're born from your mother, you were born of the corruptible seed. Mm. But now you're born of the incorruptible oh, seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Incorruptible Amen. seed, which is the Word God. of God that mm. liveth and abideth forever. Okay. That's God. the power that is at work in you, the mm. nature that is at work not of the not of blood nor of the will of man but of the oh, word of God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, there might be someone who's sitting there and thinking, well, I'm a Christian and I don't know why my life's not looking like that. And that just reminds me exactly what Pastor said. He said, some Christians tend to be more body ruled. Mm. And Paul spoke to the Corinthian church and he said to them, I cannot speak to you as spiritual, mm. but as unto carnal, because mm. you are yet carnal in their behavior. Mm. 
They were acting like children in the way that they behaved. There was envy, there was strife, there were factions amongst them. And he was saying that you are under the control of your ordinary impulses, yet he was speaking to the church. He was speaking to the Corinthian church. Yes. So as a child of God, that's what Pastor is speaking about today. It's about the renewal of the mind, you know, to come to the knowledge of what we're saying today. You begin to affirm and tell yourself, this is actually who I am. You begin to say, I am the righteousness of God yes. in Christ Jesus. Mm. I am born of the incorruptible seed of God because you don't want the results of the flesh because the Bible says that the, what the, the mind of the flesh brings death. Mm. So when you begin to behave in that manner, you, it leads to death. Mm -hmm. But the mind of the spirit, the mind that knows it's a new creation, the mind that has a revelation that it's created off the image of God is life and peace because you operate at God's mm. level. You see yourself from God's level of life. Actually, and that's what a message like this does. It brings you up. Oh, it yes. enlightens your mind. Oh, it begins yes. to renew your mind to realize I don't need to be controlled by my flesh anymore. But you yes. can't be that's controlled not who by I am. You can't. No. The Bible actually says to have a carnal mind is enmity to against God, God. Against God. It's and unnatural. So, you are an enemy. Yes. It's God when you're your living in your enemy. Functioning oh, it's subject senses. to his word. Yes. When you're functioning that's in your right. senses, when you're functioning with your own mind mm -hmm. in the in your physical body. Oh. And and you know the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. That's we right. live by faith. And when you live by faith, you please God. Mm -hmm. That's oh. when you bring joy to the Father. Yes. And and that's what the renewing of your mind does. It builds your faith. When yes. you the word comes to you and mm. faith arises in your mm -hmm. spirit when you are renewing your mind because you arise to a level where all things are possible. Oh, hallelujah. All things are possible. Glory and this is what process is. He says, you, and you have exactly the same nature as your heavenly, heavenly Father. Father. Hallelujah. And Glory. you are one with Him now. Yes. You are one with Him now. Mm. It's a new life altogether. Mm -hmm. Like Dickon has said earlier in the second book of Corinthians, the fifth chapter, verse 17, Paul says that, the Bible says, therefore, if any man be Amen. in Christ, Amen. any man, are you born again? Are you in Christ Jesus? If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away. Not they're going to pass away in the sweet by and by when you get to heaven. All things, all your old things, your mm. old way of doing things, your old Amen. man mm. has passed away. Glory to God. You, your past. It is gone. Mm. Your past History. Is he says, behold, Hallelujah. see, open your spiritual eyes oh. and see that all, all things, things are, are become, become new. new. So there are two races that are walking the earth. There's the ordinary man and there's the new creation. You are not the same. Mm. You have a responsibility to tell them about Christ so they too can come into this glorious life. But your life is not the same. The very essence of who you are is different. Now, pastor tells us, however, your mind has to be renewed with the word of God. You Hallelujah. were born of the word, so it is your source. So you cannot abandon the word of God ever in your life because the course of this world will take you in its way of thinking and you will live as a mere man. And the Bible speaks about that. You will die as a mere man. Your life will be that which is not representative of a new creation, but yet God had a glory life prepared for you. And that comes as you renew your mind so that you can live the life of the new creation. Uh, Pastor quotes Romans 12 verse 2, and be not conformed to this world. Oh, hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. Don't be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, it's the same way that a caterpillar is transformed into a butterfly, mm -hmm. a beautiful mm -hmm. butterfly. There's a metamorphosis mm -hmm. that takes place. And that's what this Changing word is speaking state. about. That's Hallelujah. it. Changing As you state. renew your mind, mm -hmm. you begin to reveal more and more oh, yes. of who you really are in Christ. Glory the glorious God. you that is in Christ. Your soul houses your mind, your emotions, and your will. Your reasoning faculty where you make decisions if your mind isn't renewed with the word, you'll be sense ruled mm -hmm. and unable to make the right decisions. And like Deaconess, you spoke earlier about that scripture that speaks about that the word of God is able mm. to save your soul. Mm. You know, and it's speaking of your mind, your will and your emotions. Mm. So that means that even though your spirit, you are saved, you still, you are the one 
to save your mind, your will, and your emotions mm. as you renew your, your, your mind to the will of God. Because emotions follow thoughts. Yes. Words follow thoughts. Mm. The way you feel follows your thoughts. Mm. And the decisions you make is based on the things you've been meditating mm. on. Mm -hmm. So everything actually comes down to, again, the renewing sure. of the mind mm. because it influences every aspect of your soul. Hallelujah. Romans 8 verse 8 says, They that are in the flesh cannot please God. Mm. And this has just been, Pastor Chris has been emphasizing this so much at the retail.